Hi, I'm Faye Tozer. And I'm Dylan Turner. And we're in the TaylorMade Man at the Arts Theatre. And we're very excited to have tea with Wilma. <laughs> I've, um, I've been working in uh, theatre and Western Theatre and touring for about, oh, just coming up 10 years now. Um, it's, I try to do all aspects of performing. Um, and I try to keep my career as varied as possible and try and do different shows and keep challenging and pushing myself. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to be back in London again doing a, doing a, a brand new piece of theatre, a brand new musical that not many people know about and uh, with an original story and a true story that should touch everyone's hearts. And I most recently saw Dylan Turner in Rock of Ages. Yes, which is, which is very different from this show. Yeah. I mean, I'm donning <laughs> 80s wig and black eyeshadow and lipstick, which I'm pretty good at putting on now. Yeah. Um, but yes, and, uh, and that was a, a great fun show to do, uh, and it's nice to do like, something like this set in the 20s, which is completely different. I myself um, am probably best known uh, as being Fatos of One Fifth of Steps. From a, a uh, little obscure kind of pop band. They really, you know, <laughs> weren't very well known. But. Um, in between um, the first time Steps came around, um, I've done 10 years of theatre, a few plays, and a couple of independent films as well. Um, Tell Me on a Sunday, uh, Love Shack, um, Sons Jack and the Space Fixins, Me and My Girl, all sorts of wonderful, weird and fabulous things. Mm -hmm. So, um, But we just recently uh, had a reunion with Steps and uh, spent most of last year touring, so I was desperate to get back into the theatre again. And actually doing something like this, a period piece and a, a true story, was really, really exciting to take on. And um, I think um, it's been a beautiful story and very well received. Tell Me Man is a true story of William Haynes, um, who was fired from MG MGM for refusing to give up his long-term partner, Jimmy Shields. Um, he then went on to have a more successful career as an interior designer. Um, so there's so much throughout the story, it spans over 10 years, and it's a chance for the audience to take a trip back to uh, the Roaring Twenties with some fantastic choreography by Nathan and Wright. Um, people who have come to see it, who, I mean, even myself had no idea who William Haynes was, I'm sure uh, Faye didn't either, and we did the research, and, and it sort of was a fascinating story, um, and so relevant for today as well, that he was openly gay, um, and he was fired for that reason, and it's sort of, it's a shame that sort of that carries on to now, that, that potentially people are afraid to come out because it might affect their careers. Also, the power of um, Hollywood and the mm. power of MGM, how they can just crush somebody's career and get rid of it and get, get rid of that person. He could have been one of the greats because he was in the time of Cha Chaplin. He, and, and he was like and number like, one at the box office in the 20s. Yeah. And he wasn't only just fired and people still remember him, he was eradicated from history. All his movies were locked in the vault and it wasn't until sort of the mid-90s when they were released that even now people kind of can look on the internet and Google and, and, and get his movies. Other than that, he was... Yeah, completely forgotten. Yeah. Oh, gosh, passionate, hardworking. I'm a grafter. Um, driven. Um, I'd like to say that I've got passion for life, though, and I like a good party as well. <laughs> um, myself. Um, uh, a little stressful sometimes, <laughs> but uh, no, all my friends would say that I'm, uh, I'm sort of the same, driven, um, I love my work, um, I also like to separate and sort of take time out for myself and for my friends and not even think about the industry, um, it's more than five words obviously, um, and I feel like I'm selling myself here, it's crazy. That's a job. <laughs> um, yeah, just uh, I'm nice and always try and be there for my friends and you know, just be a genuinely nice guy. I think it's every sort of young actor's dream is, and ever since I was 10 years old is to play James Bond. Uh -huh. I, think, I think that's, oh, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I think that's possibly as far as if, you, if someone had to say to me, don't be apologetic, and don't do the whole, oh, I know, but yeah, probably James Bond, I, but sort of more, more sort of in the close and the future, I'd love to work for the RSC and play Hamlet sometime in my career. Um, and again, with anything I do, I, I, I try and really do as many different stuff as possible. I want to push myself to see if I can, I can do um, 
that straight play, if I can do a, a, a big commercial piece of musical theatre, if I can do a, a TV sit sitcom or, or, or a period drama. So I, I always try and, I would love, and I'm sure every actor would say the same thing, to try and um, do as many things as possible. So yeah, that's amazing. Oh, it's tough, because you, you never know what's around the corner, and there are so many brilliant new pieces coming up. I think it's always exciting to be an original cast member. Mm. Um, and try not to fill the shoes and expectations of somebody who's already done a show. Um, I, I used to, be, it's not on anymore, but um, uh, Chicago was one that I'd really have loved to do. Um, uh, Mrs. Johnston in Blood Brothers, I think I've got a few years yet until I can really do that one. But um, I don't know, I'd, I'd like to do um, some more comedy because I'm really enjoying doing comedy and, and, and it's great to make people laugh. Um, Which she's but, brilliant at in the show because Faye's character Marion Davis was renowned for being a comic actor. So even though yeah. her um, William Randolph Hearst, uh, who was Marion was involved with, was pushed her to sort of the dramatic side, she ended up doing comedy and show people which is one of her most favorite um, famous pictures which we touch on in the show it's brilliant and if you get a copy if you manage to sort of see it on ebay marianne davis's sort of uh, face expression is fantastic yeah. and we, we have a scene in the show where we act out the film and uh, she brings the house down i try and, and get the last one i just don't get it yeah you need to have a bit more an animated <laughs> face like mine so it is. But, but you, otherwise if we were too funny you're you're the, i set you up i set her up <laughs> I was in Greece years ago in the West End, um, and uh, and the music st top of Act Two for the um, for the jive it started a bit too soon, and we went on stage, and all of us sort of jumped on the chairs to get ready, and not one of the four of the guys because it was out of sync, and you, you start to dance moves as it should go along. We just looked at each other with complete blank <laughs> expressions, and we were just we knew we had to do put our gel on and do that, but we kind of went. And we just knew we had to do no, something, right, and right. not even one person remembered it. So that was, it was, it was hilarious when we sort of stood up laughing. And of course, we were mortified when we went off stage, but I don't think the audience noticed, you know. Well, I've just recently seen um, Jersey Boys, which is fabulous in town, um, and Singing the Rain as well, it's very beautiful. Um, I don't know what's coming out this year. I, got, um, I would like to see The Book of Mormon. Oh, I still yes. need to see that. Yeah. Um, Macbeth as well, uh, James McAvoy. Yeah. And the tickets are very hard to get. Um, Helen Mirren and uh, Judy Dench are in town at the moment doing shows, so yes, yeah, it's, it's, love to go and lots see of stuff. Girls. So yeah. I think when, when we sort of finish, I'll take a week off and, and catch up with some theatre. And it's great to have these, fanta these fantastic names in as well, these who are all great actors. So. Well, we forget about Mike McShane, who's yes. actually here in our show, in Taylor Made Man. Um, and he is such a legendary actor himself, and he's mm. such a great person. Such a great and guy. he's a kind of not fathers us all, but you know, he looks after us all, mm. and he's, he's a wonderful person, really giving, and, and it's just really great to share the stage with I was, him. Yeah, I was over the moon when I found out he was doing the job, and I grew up with Who's Lines Anyway and yeah. the, the improvisation shows and the movies he's, he did, Robin Hood, and uh, yeah, and he's uh, he, we're very blessed to have him on board. It's very cool. And he quotes The Simpsons all the time, which I find hilarious. <laughs> I think Guys and Dolls is a nice piece for, for guys, isn't it? Yes, Sky yeah, and uh, yeah, Nathan. Sky, yeah, Nathan. Um, yeah, Sky, yeah, Nathan. I might have to think about that one and come back to that. You're gonna be a girl. I mean, there's the obvious, the, the, the two strongest female roles in music, well, one of the two strongest in Wicked, so they're, they're those two. I mean, Elphaba's yeah, a pretty, Elphaba. yeah. um, if I was to do a, a musical theatre piece. And, Got um, the belt for that, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> come down and see us at the Arts Theatre um, in London, Leicester Square. Um, come and see The Tailor Made Man. It's a fabulous story about 1930s Hollywood, fabulous choreography, uplifting songs, and a touching story. Come see us. Uh, the website is tailormademanlondon.com. And we're running to the 6th of April. Bring all your friends and take a trip to pure nostalgia. <laughs>